Good, let's flip over for the neck pull. Feet are gonna be underneath the strap. The other thing is that, depending on the manufacturer, the strap length may be incorrect. This is gonna be the right length for you to separate the legs and have the right amount of tension, have your feet in the right position of the mat. Good, lie all the way down. Hands are gonna be behind the head. Once again, I like that hand over hand position so that the knuckles line up so that I'm getting equal pressure and tension from both of my hands on both sides of my body. Take the hands and place them right underneath the base of the skull. So like two knuckles are underneath and the rest are up. Good. Elbows are open. Push your heels away. As much as you roll forward, you have to pull your heels away and pull your hips away. Beautiful. Roll up, pull the waist back. And soften here, soften here, soften here. Good. Head goes down. So pull the stomach in and stretch over one. Pull the stomach in, stretch over two, stretch over three, sit up nice and tall, open, push with your heels, and pull the stomach in like somebody punched you in the stomach. Boof. Beautiful. I should get one of those knives. <laughs> pull this back, pull this back, pull this back, and down. So you want to articulate. We're going to do it again. You're going to take just the head up just the top of the shoulder blade, just the bottom of the shoulder blade, articulate through, and as he's rolling up, this pelvis is pulling into the mat more. So his pelvis keeps pulling back, and then his waist gets longer, and his ribs separate from his hips. And now on top of that,